tonight we're in Secret Kitchen. Tonight we're getting together Royal Wine, my main man Kenny, Kenneth Friedman Events, and we're throwing a Secret Kitchen socially distanced. Let's try some wine. I love to do those uh, tastings uh, because we really get into each and every wine, into the specifics, and it allows people to really expand their horizons and their knowledge about wine. And uh, tonight is going to be something very, very special. We have here uh, some great whites from Bordeaux. Uh, we have uh, Le G de Chateau Guiraud, which is a, a dry blend of Sémillon and, Sauvi and Sauvignon Blanc. Then you have the Chateau Gazan Rancourcourt from Pessac Léognan, uh, probably the greatest uh, appellation for white wines in, uh, in Bordeaux. Then you have the Matar Sauvignon Blanc, white Bordeaux blend from Israel. We have uh, two champagnes from uh, Maison Drapier. One is a white, very dry champagne. The other one is also, of course, dry, but not as dry. And it's a pink champagne, it's a rosé champagne. Really, really delicious. Then we have the Pacifica Riesling, which is off-dry, German-style uh, Riesling from Washington. Clomessora, uh, one of the greatest kosher wines on earth. Then we have the Witkin Israeli Journey Red, a great Mediterranean blend. Fantastic value from Witkin Winery, one of the greatest boutique wineries in Israel. Then we have a brand new wine, very, very exciting. Ramon Cardova Rioja Reserva Old Vines 2016. Uh, and then we have the Carmel Single Vineyard, Admont Malbec. Beautiful Malbec from Israel, Argentinian style. Really, really something not to be missed. Then we have one of the greatest kosher wines, uh, Chateau Léoville Poiferet, Saint Julien 2017. And then we have a very interesting one, Chateau Fontenil from Fronsac, made by uh, the great winemaker Michel Roland. He's probably the most famous uh, winemaker in the world, and this is his own winery. So we're going to have a very, very good time tonight. Let's talk about the food, because that's why I'm here. We're doing a bunch of small plates, easy munchy kind of things. This is the first course that we're throwing down. This is a hot honey smoked black pepper salmon, a lot of black pepper, a lot of powdered honey, and we're gonna put it onto these black pepper crisps with some fake cream cheese, cause that's all you need, crunchy munchy. Of all the things we've eaten in all the years, there are a couple that really stand out in my mind. And one of them was something that this guy, Chef Allen, showed me. It was the dish of his childhood, and that is a Tunisian fricassee. So what we have here is a hot fried piece of dough, a beignet. And we're just gonna pop a little hole, just like that. Now to accompany the beignet, what I have here, just regular saku block tuna, regular sushi style tuna. What we've done with the tuna is we poached it in olive oil and chilies, and that gives you this beautiful, firm, medium rare tono. We just take some of this tuna, just like that. Start with the preserved lemon. Preserved lemon is a must. Harissa, the hot sauce of North Africa, and then a jam of the olive. Bam! And then we take this beautiful tuna, and we're just gonna drop it right in there. Tuna fricassee. I took rice and I just threw the beans in, threw the tomatoes with chilies in there, and cooked it all together. We're not looking for pretty rice. We're looking for like late night rice. I got chicken. We braised it in like an enchilada -y type of thing. We're just gonna drop it right back in there. Rosanna, juicy little chicken. She likes the chicken all day. My chicken is a chicken. I want some big chicken. So now I'm taking that broth, which I've reduced, and then rehydrated the shredded chicken in, and we're just gonna pour it over everything. Now here's the part where it gets real fun. These are green Doritos. Green Doritos, Hamut Kharif, available soon in our store. This is like a stoner bowl to me. It's rice, it's beans, it's tomatoes, it's chili, it's shredded chicken, it's a dank broth. Party's going on. I have a little bit of a ribeye here that what we did is we aged it out for a little bit and then we tied it up and we just let it roll over the burning coals and the wood and the smoke and the rosemary. And for serving, we're just gonna cube them up a little bit. And then we have a 
fresh chimichurri, which brings a brightness and acidity with that smoke and that, oh. Kanaf is one of my most favorite desserts. So we took a dive of the Angel Hair Style Puff Pastry, crisp and butter, with salty, funky, vegan cheese. I took figs, I like to burn them a little bit because it kind of gives them a chocolatey note. Then we have simple syrup, sugar, water, saffron, gives a whole nother note. And this is how I do my kanaf. Oh, 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 oh,